Good morning. Thanks for joining us for Local 3 News. I'm Brianna McLean. The Superior Land Kiwanis Club is hosting their annual community Christmas dinner this year. Local 3's Haley Schoengart tells us how you can ensure your, to score your favorite holiday treats. The Superior Land Kiwanis is bringing the holiday cheer, but this time with a few changes. Yes, do not show up to the Salvation Army this year on Christmas. Nobody will be there. Uh, it will be Christmas Eve. Other than that, everything pretty much stays the same. Other than we're not going to have dine-in again. Uh, with COVID, uh, we weren't allowed to. Uh, so for one more year, uh, we're going to have the uh, pickup and delivery. In order to make this event a success for almost 40 years, they rely heavily on the help of volunteers. We have a number of these posters around town. There's an 800 number on here at the bottom, and that's to call for reserve for meals and everything. And if you want to volunteer, there's a QR code that will be on your screen. And also the QR code takes you to youpersunited.com, which our friends at United Way have helped us set up to get as many volunteers as we can this year. And they will be hosting their meal with one special person in spirit. A longtime member of the Spirit Lane Kiwanis, uh, Fred Anderson, uh, unfortunately passed away this year. We're without that big, big uh, help this year. And so uh, we are dedicating this year and probably the next few years uh, Christmas dinner to uh, Fred Anderson for being such a big impact on the community. To reserve your meals, please call 1-855-500-0919. You can pick up your meals at the Marquette Salvation Army or have them delivered. Of course, all of the meals will come with the Christmas staples. Reporting in Marquette, Haley Schongart, Local 3 News. It's time for you, the viewers, to nominate the remarkable women in your life. We want to celebrate these women and share their stories. If you go to upmatters.com, you can nominate a remarkable woman you know. Self-nominations are not allowed and you must be at least 21 to enter. You have from now until New Year's Eve to tell, to tell us about some remarkable women. Then in March, we'll highlight four women who will be considered for the Nationwide 2022 Women of the Year Award. Now for checking your forecast with meteorologist Tom Kippen. Thanks a lot, Bree. Here's three things to know for your Wednesday across Upper Michigan. We are looking at some snow showers in some spots. Otherwise, outside of the snow showers, we'll have clouds and we may even sneak in some sunshine. High temperatures today in most UP spots are expected to be in the 20s. For weather anytime, head to our WJMN Local 3 app, also online at upmatters.com. And if social media is your thing, we're there as well at WJMN TV. And while you're on Facebook, feel free to check out our 906 Weather Watchers page.